I'm not straight on. One. Shuffle rub. What's going on? That was the scene over the weekend uh, from Tyson's Corner Center, a mall in Virginia, where people were scattering, running out of the place. And I think you can imagine what they were running from. Because police were already actually on the scene investigating a potential robbery. And uh, so they were there to hear and see the commotion. And uh, what it actually they determined it actually was that had everyone out in the streets fearing for their life was a fallen light fixture. It's pretty embarrassing, right? Everybody's running away and it's just a fallen light fixture. You guys are crazy. So a couple more details from that because police received the support of gunshots inside Tyson's at 2.49 PM and began clearing the mall. Fairfax County Police Second Lieutenant Jason Chandler said this. And then at around 3.40 PM, the mall was clear and no threats were reported. The mall never went into a lockdown, but some stores did close because I think they were still freaked out. Now before the report of gunshots though, Chandler, police, uh, Chandler said police responded to a possible theft in the mall near the glass elevator. A light fixture fell in the general area of the, of the police activity and that caused this loud sound, which officers believe led to that panic. So you guys are running for nothing. What's the matter with you guys? It's just a light fixture. Why are you on edge? I have a, a, a reason why people might be on edge because back in June at this place called um, Tyson Center uh, Corner Center Mall in Virginia, that same place, this happened. So of course, two months later, when you hear loud sounds in the exact same mall, you might assume that it's more gunshots because that was gunshots back in June. Some details because the police chief was talking about this. Uh, this this was the surprising part for them, that shots were ringing in, out inside of a place that is as safe as Tyson's Corner. It makes all of our hearts drop to the pit of our stomachs. That's what Fairfax County Police Chief Kevin Davis said at a news conference after this particular incident in, in June. He says, it's something that shocks us all. Does it? What's safe about Tyson's uh, a corner, center corner in June? What's safe about it? Is it in a good neighborhood? I assume it must be the problem um, that people don't shoot here. Yo, this is America. This is where people shoot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Fine, Tyson's corner. That's just that one small uh, piece of Virginia where people are afraid. Uh, maybe they're also fleeing malls because of this thing that happened. Watch this. <laughs> That was at the Mall of America. More shots ringing up, people just hanging out, maybe get, I think they were doing some kind of a shoe thing. Just innocent folks standing there, yet shots ring out in the middle of a Nike store with other shoppers inside because of an argument near the cash register. That's maybe why people are afraid to be in malls or when they hear anything. I got another example, maybe there's maybe it's this guy named Jonathan Sapirman, who's now deceased. Uh, he uh, uh, drew a couple guns at this mall in Indianapolis, killed multiple people, and lost his life as well. Let's take a look at his picture. That's uh, Sapirman there. Let's take a look at him really fast. Graphic six, you guys. Uh, details from that. The family of the gunman who killed three people during a weekend mall shooting in the Indianapolis suburb of Greenwood has released a statement expressing condolences to the families impacted. The gunman, as you see there, Jonathan Douglas Sapirman, who was 20 years old, was shot dead by a legally armed bystander shortly after he opened fire with a rifle. Authorities have said he was armed with two rifles, a Glock pistol, and more than 100 rounds of ammunition. And he fired 24 shots before he was killed. 
He also wounded two others is what authorities said. Another part about this, since we're talking about a legal gun ownership, the AR-15 rifle was legally purchased on March 8th in Greenwood. That's what the police chief said. The second rifle was purchased on March 9th in 2021 from a Greenwood gun store as well. Legally purchased firearms. They were legal until they murdered people, then they became illegal. But let's just keep talking about these legal gun owners. Uh, anyways, uh, so this whole thing, now there's, uh, many of you guys are probably seeing, hey, there was an innocent bystander that came in and shot him. What a good idea. I'm glad he was there. I'm glad he helped out the situation there. Um, but before we jump on this whole thing and saying that's the solution, instead of you guys know these libs are gonna keep talking about how this guy shouldn't have had two rifles like that and ran up in the middle of the mall ready to shoot people because they're dead. Making Dickinson's heroism, this Dickens is the guy who actually took out this guy, Sapirman. Making Dickens' heroism perhaps even more remarkable is the fact that cases of an armed bystander attacking an active shooter are rare. That's according to data from the Advanced Law Enforcement Rapid Response Training. That's at Texas State University. There were at least 434 active shooter attacks in the US from 2000 to 2021. Of those 434 active shooter cases, an armed bystander shot the attacker in 22 of the incidents. In 10 of those, the quote good guy was a security guard or an off duty police officer is what the data also showed. Um, there's also data, uh, there's also situations that happen when someone pulls out their gun. It's an active shooter situation. They're the good guy with the gun as we've heard so many times from the NRA. And the police show up and like, look, there's shooters. Guess who you think they're gonna shoot? That guy who has the gun out because they have no idea. He doesn't have a sticker on his head that says, hey, I'm the good guy with the gun. Cuz that's definitely happened. Or that good guy with the gun isn't very well, uh, isn't very good at shooting and he shoots more people as he's trying to fire on this guy. Luckily in this particular instance, uh, the hero here was accurate. And he took out uh, that particular shooter there. Regardless whether or not you want this to happen more, you think it's not gonna happen in your neighborhood like they thought uh, up in Virginia, everybody's afraid. I mean, you go to the mall, just think whether or not you're looking over your shoulder every once in a while. And if you think this is the way America should be, especially since we preach about how awesome it is here.